everyone, hope you're all well. Um, so lately I've just been reminiscing over little funny stories and, and things that have happened in the uh, organisation, or, or in our congregation um, over the years. And uh, we had at one time a bit of a nipple controversy in the congregation. So I remember, it was quite a few years ago, I was in the meeting one Sunday and I got up halfway through the meeting to go to the toilet and um, a sister followed me out to the toilet and said to me um, that her son, I don't, he must have been about 16 or 17 at the time, had told her that he couldn't concentrate on the meeting because he could see my nipples through my clothes. <laughs> so, you know, at the time I was mortified because I said to her, I've got bra on, I've got clothes on. What could, what can a woman do? It's cold in here, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. It's nature. Anyway, after that time, obviously, I became very self-conscious, so I'd wear a lot of, like, cardigans, jackets, things like that. Um, but, you know, there was nothing wrong with my clothing at the time. Really, they should have adjusted the, the temperature in the in the Kingdom Hall. But that wasn't the only... Um, th this matter went further when a new family came to the Hall. Now, they were quite a... Um, uh, I'd say they weren't your average JW family. They were very um, uh, strong for Jehovah, but um, they, they weren't your run-of-the-mill family. So, um, for example, you've got the, the classic way that witnesses might dress, which would be, you know, a, a, a kind of a, a formal skirt and a blouse or a top for the sisters and you'd have a suit for the brothers. So quite often the, this brother would wear a jacket and trousers, which sometimes that was a little bit frowned upon. At one time you couldn't even go on the platform if you had jacket and trousers. You had to have a full suit. And um, the brother was always, he always had a beard. You know, over the years, Nathan's had a beard off and on, but this brother, he quite consistently had quite a, a, a big, heavy, heavy beard. Looked great, actually, by the way. It was a, it was a, it was a nice beard. Um, and the, his wife, they, she kind of was very um, earthy, like, in her style. So um, her, her tops were quite uh, loose, fitting and her skirts were uh, probably a little bit above the knee which uh, I think you know was was a bit frowned upon in the congregation by uh, by certain ones and because um, it was always knee length skirt weren't it and because her tops were were quite loose fitting you could really notice that this sister never wore a bra it just wasn't her thing, you know. And she was quite well endowed. Um, and so it was, uh, when you've got a loose fitting top on and you're quite well endowed in that area, um, any movement kind of um, was visible. And... Also, like I said, it, it was quite often cold in the hall because they sometimes have the aircon on like quite strong and usually they adjust the temperature more to what the brothers want than what the, you know, the sisters usually want it a lot warmer but brothers tend to keep the room quite cold. Actually, now that I'm saying that, I'm thinking they kept it cold for a reason but anyway, that's by the by. So uh, anyway, this sister, uh, uh, her sense of style and her, her manner of dress soon became a controversy in the meeting because the sisters were in uproar about it you know I was quite in the mix with um, the sisters out all on the field service groups during the during the week and I was always out on the weekends and so I was well up on you know what was the topic of gossip and uh, what was the conversations at the time and she was consistently in the conversations and even brothers would mention it from time to time or oh, here she comes you know like <laughs> shut your eyes kind of thing and it, it was it was really quite funny 
And amongst the sisters, it was decided that, you know, the brothers weren't going to counsel her on this because it was too much of a touchy subject. So they were all sort of nominating each other. Maybe you should have a word. Maybe you should have a word. And it, it, and it was left to the wife of the... Uh, the, the wife of the coordinator um, eventually spoke to her about her, your dress being well arranged and modest and um, yeah she started after that wearing a bra but <laughs> it's just surprising how much controversy these things cause in a congregation and um, yeah it makes me laugh now but yeah at the time mate what a scandal you know if you for for people that believe in God and believe that that uh, breasts and nipples have got a purpose in life, this uh, the the obsession with these things is uh, it's uh, yeah it's an obsession. So what can I say? I just thought I'd share that funny story with you because it always makes me laugh when I think back to those times. So yeah, that's that for today. Anyway, take care. Thanks for listening. Bye.